So one more thing we want to cover before we get into Freestyle Orchestrator is the new scripts feature, which is really neat because many of us have been using product provisioning for a long time and it, it's it's not that easy for a lot of people to use, so they make it a lot easier. So you can see here instead of resources, you now have the scripts section. So you click add windows. And let's just pick a script. So we'll we'll use this script which we already created, but it's okay, we'll just use the same thing. So I'm just going to call this something. You show you this feature, I'm not going to use it, but the app catalog customization lets you essentially represent it right inside of the app catalog. So say someone wanted to manually go in and run a script for some kind of troubleshooting thing. You know, something like someone like a, and a good example might be like an, out, like a, an Outlook reset profile script. They go into the Workspace ONE catalog, click a button, and la -dee -da. But we're not using that here. I'm going to click Next. You see we get PowerShell. Shows you the context, it's gonna run in a system, automatic architecture, timeout. So you can see you have two options. You can either paste it in here, or you can actually upload the script. But we're just gonna paste that right in. We're gonna click next. This is also interesting. So if you want to add any specific PowerShell variables, it's pretty neat. And uh, you'll notice here is that what's great about this is that you can actually pass different aspects of your Workspace ONE environment to those variables, which is a huge deal for Max. Because Max, usually you have to run some scripts to figure out you know, what what you're passing down as far as the username and stuff like that. And so you don't have to worry about that here, but it's a really, really great value. So I'm just clicking Save. And see, that, that created my script. Now you'll see here, I'll just show you real quick. So if you want to do Mac, same kind of deal. So if we just go back into our GitHub, I'm gonna just pick this like any connect script that I, that I like to use. And so I'm gonna grab that script. Click next. See here, you got all different kinds of options. So bash. You can see here, so if you look up here, right, I have this feature here where I'm finding the logged in user. So now I'm not gonna need that anymore because of those great variables. So you can see here, once I remove that, I'm going to click Next, and I'm going to add a variable. So then I'm going to add this key, this logged in user, and then I'm going to use enrollment user. And so now I'm passing this really neat variable down because it works for Workspace ONE, which is extremely powerful. And this is scripts. And then coming up next, we're going to bring it all together.